So, uh, <clears throat> I've been smoking tobacco pipes for a number of years now. I am by no means a tobacco pipe expert, also known as a pro tobacconist. It's probably what they're called. But since I started smoking pipes, I have heard so many other pipe aficionados tell me different things about the pipe, like uh, how you have to prep a new pipe, how you pack a pipe, and how to light a pipe, what type of lighter to use. And I just think it's all a bunch of nonsense. I'm not saying there's nothing to some of those things, but the thing is there's multiple ways of enjoying a pipe. And what it comes down to is whatever works for you. Now there's things you can do to better enjoy a pipe because there's a craft to smoking a pipe. That's one of the things I like about it. There's something to learn. If you want to prolong the enjoyment of the pipe, it really takes some care and some consideration and some learning a little bit. And it's so cold. Where's my beanie? Ugh. A pipe is very different from uh, a cigar. Definitely different than a cigarette. With a pipe, it takes some attention. It's not something you just light and then forget about it and go on about your day. I guess you don't do that with anything. You don't like light a cigar and then be like, go about my day. Once you light it, it takes some attention because it will go out. You'll have to relight it. And there's a frequency in which you draw and, uh, and enjoy it. A pipe, unlike any other similar tobacco product, I think, takes the most concentration. It demands a bit more attention than the other ones. It's kind of the big baby of tobacco devices because it like, it wants your attention constantly to be best enjoyed. I lost my lighter because it already went out. If you don't puff on it frequently enough, uh, it can go out. If you draw in too frequently, it can go out. And it can also burn the pipe. It can get too hot to even hold. When smoking a pipe, it wants you to pay attention to it. It needs you to pay attention to it. It's, it's the most needy of all the tobacco devices. Devices? I don't know, I work with techie, geeky things, so I can say devices. Mm. Now I've been shown so many different ways of packing the pipe. Packing the pipe is putting the tobacco in the bowl, which is this. I've been shown it so many different ways, and there's so, you can go online and find a multitude of ways to pack the pipe, and everybody says that their way is the best. Nobody's way is the best. I've tried so many of them, and none of them seem better than my way, which is just stick some tobacco in the pipe, smush it down, and light it. Now, people also tell me you should not use a, uh, this is a, like a cigar lighter. This is a, uh, a torch lighter. Can you see it? Uh, they say it can burn the bowl. They say don't use it because the gases get in there. It's whatever. It's my favorite way to light. Uh, I mean, I don't know. It's whatever you enjoy. Some people enjoy, you know, using a match and, and packing it the same way every time. And if that's you, great. If you're like me and you just, you just want to enjoy it, you can just go and enjoy it, which is my recommendation. Do the thing you enjoy the most. And I don't think there's any real trick to it. You just, the more you do it, the more you get used to it. You find kind of a rhythm for drawing it and having the frequency in which you draw it in. And for me, that frequency is as often as I want to draw in. Sometimes I have to light it more often than others. And, and the type of tobacco you use too will dictate how well it keeps its burn before you have to relight. But whatever, it's all, it's all a part of it. Mm. The thing I love most about the tobacco pipe is the taste of the tobacco and the aroma in which the tobacco burns. It's delicious. It's the best tasting type of tobacco I think that you could possibly have. You gotta find the right uh, tobacco. I mean, but the stuff I'm burning right now is cheap gas station tobacco. That's not all I burn. I burn, burn, is that what you say? I've had very expensive tobaccos too, but I don't know. I like, where is it? Oh, it's right here. This is just, uh, I mean, you can get this at like any gas station. Super value, you get a super value with this stuff too. Super value amaretto. Amaretto, amaretto, how do you pronounce that? Anyways, this stuff, I love it. 
in the end. It's like a fine wine. It's whatever you enjoy. Mmm. Ugh, oh, there's nothing like that taste. Oh, it's so good.